What is going on guys? Right here back with another vlog. God, so it's so freaking weird hearing myself speak without headphones on. I'm really, I'm barely used to it. I spend like 99% of my life recording, but I'm here back with another vlog that's like primarily based around a few more items for home self-defense, home defense. I don't know, but you guys got such a kick out of the last video I did where I showed you all the weapons in my room that I figured once I got like these three new ones, these four new ones, I just definitely had to show you guys because it was... They're hilarious, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen like the main best part. Alright, but just real quick before I get into that, because this is like super duper important with the way YouTube's updating and changing and all that. Um, just really quick, if you can just see like, like I'll just use this guy as an example. But um, basically, when you're subscribed to somebody, you'll barely get any notifications for them, like, only on like their highlight videos. Whatever the hell those are, I haven't done like research behind YouTube's new algorithm. But you have to make sure you have this selected right here. If you just click this, if you have this selected so it shows you, so it just doesn't like pick which notifications to give you over which videos. So it just generally sends everything over, which is generally best for everybody. I don't know. Otherwise, you're just, just going to miss so much stuff. Like if you follow a survival series or anything, you're going to miss episodes and it won't really make that much sense. So that's just like my my warning to you guys. All right, now into these awesome items I got. I don't know why I did it. I was like... I was on Amazon, it was after editing one night around like 3 a.m. I usually stop editing from 3 to 4 and then I just like go to sleep for like 5-6 hours. But, but I just couldn't resist and it's ridiculous that all this is available online. It's so, actually it's really not because if it wasn't so easy to purchase that would suck. That would suck monster dong right there because these are awesome. Actually the first thing I'm going to show off because it's not really a weapon. It's more what I'm going to use if zombies ever attack or if I ever get in a vicious blade fight. I don't know, it's pretty, if, if freaking Brad Pitt had these during World War Z, it would have been a lot, a lot safer, I'll tell you that much. Because according to their Amazon review, they are extremely bite proof, because numerous people who have submitted reviews apparently work in insane asylums and got these specifically because everyone bites their hands all the time. Which is freaking terrifying, by the way, that was like disturbing to read. I couldn't believe it, just, and everyone's like, oh wow, that's amazing. I'm like, what the shit? What are you doing to these people? It's like, like, how do you... How do you get bit? What are you doing around their mouth, you crazy bastard? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand the protocol, though. Basically, it's these things. They're only about 15 bucks, by the way, on Amazon. Now, just, I'm not sponsored by a single item here. I was just saying that in case anybody clicking on this would wonder. This is these aren't like expensive at all. They're actually really cheap, and their their original purpose is to make you like cut and slash proof. It's like this weird type of material that just absorbs the blade. I really don't want to try it out on camera. I'm extremely tempted to because like what's the point in showing off if I don't like show it off actually. I look like kind of like a prostitute is, <laughs> is what, I'd, what I'd think who would wear these. If they were fishnet I'd definitely be a hooker. But um, but um, yeah actually if I had a small blade in my room then I would probably try it out because I mean the reviews are pretty good like thousands of people are backing this product so I'm actually slightly confident. That it can get somewhat slashed or anything, bitten by a zombie, and still be fine, still maintain my life without any skin puncturing, which is like the ultimate goal in life, right? Look at those, look at those sexy things. I can do like fancy dances too. I don't know. I feel like hookers in like the 15th century wore these. I feel like hookers still wear these today. The next item is just insane. This is like the one I already showed off on my Instagram earlier. I don't know 100% why I got it. It just, it just happened, and now I happen to possess it. But now I own a fully functioning riot shield, which is, you probably can't even hear me anymore. All the sound is being blocked. All sound was being blocked is what I was saying. Just assume me, you couldn't hear me. But look how badass this thing is. It's like a legit, see it's not actually bulletproof. There was a bulletproof one, but it was like 450 bucks. I was like, nah, I'd rather get shot than just spend 450 bucks. It's so much easier. <laughs> so, but I got this thing, which is still a very thick kind of plastic. It's extremely like, extremely durable it's like doesn't take damage in the slightest and it would just I don't know I feel like anything from paintballs to tear gas to zombie teeth could get held back perfectly with this thing now with my wrist the only thing being exposed out there too is these things then that's like well covered up I get like elbow pads and like a SWAT outfit completely covered ready for the apocalypse so here is my riot shield plus also like my name's riot on YouTube I was like my whole life at this point I feel like it was definitely appropriate for me to for me to eventually own a riot shield. And now it's happened. This is this might be tax deductible because my name's Riot. Let's say it's like my business logo. It's clearly not. 
My logo used to be someone, a hand holding a Molotov cocktail, but I changed that to be more like people friendly. These people are anti-blowing up buildings these days. But yeah, there's my freaking riot shield. Ready for anything. Literally anyone breaks in my house now. They are not going to know it hit them. Especially once you see like the last item in the group. Because it is, should not be. It, re it really should require a background before you order it. Because if someone had that, they would just destroy you. Oh, by the way, people were asking about this shirt on Instagram, asking if it's like for sale and everything. I do actually have a few shirts for merchandise in the description. I like literally never mention it. I'm always afraid to over mention stuff because then I sound spammy because I hate when people sound spammy. But um, but this one's actually not for sale. I kind of just made this one in Photoshop one day and had it made on one of those websites because I was like bored and, and I don't know, but it's actually, it looks like a cool shirt, but it's really not up close. This is just a, a straight up cut out picture of me riding a Raptor in Ark. I just like cut it out in Photoshop and like pasted it over, kind of got rid of Jurassic and then just put in Riot and Ark, you know? Really shady job if you get up close to <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty good. I was pretty proud of this, but there's still like tiny little white dots around the Raptor for me forgetting to erase it because I like put maybe in like half an hour of work into it. So I might do a shirt like this down the line, especially if you guys want me to. Like put your info or your input in the description. Let me know. No, in the comment section, not the description. You know, this video is completely powered by Red Bull right now. It doesn't pick words correctly. But, um, but yeah, so I'd be down to make a more professional version. Especially if some of you guys help me draw it. Because I know some of you guys are amazing artists and you're always helping me out. Now these I bought just in case I needed to place somebody under arrest after, I don't know. I was like, what if someone breaks into my house? Well, get the camera all balanced. What if someone breaks into my house? I riot shield sword them with the other weapon I have here. One of, one of these two because because that would be the ultimate way to do it. But then what do I do till the police arrive or something? I got—I don't just want to sit on the guy, it doesn't sound cool. So I had to of course go and pick me up a pair of like professional grade police handcuffs, which are pretty damn sweet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get an extra pair and keep it in my cargo like glove compartment too. In case I ever need to like arrest a zombie or something. He gets like trying to eat people, I just put his hands behind his back. What's he gonna do? Can't do anything. Most important part is not losing this key though. That that shit is not, I already there was two of these a week ago. And now I have one. <laughs> this is risky stuff. Can't lose that key. Now this thing, I actually need to charge it, which is a damn shame because I think the battery might be a little toasted, which means I need to charge it like three times longer. Because my mom overcharged it. Like she just left it charging forever. It like can't be charging for more than six hours or it starts to poop out. But it's, oh man, I wish the dick is, if I just charge it for another day, but I want to post this like right in the morning, this is complicated. I'll show you guys in a later video if you want me to see it, but um, here we have the Peacemaker, which is ironic because it's a freaking stun baton that looks like a Sith lightsaber. That's actually what lured me to it first, it look, looks exactly like a lightsaber. Now the beauty about the Peacemaker is actually if you like, actually this is beyond, it has like three different settings, it could be a flashlight. An incredibly powered flashlight, by the way, that can go so freaking long. Or you flip the switch all the way, the light goes red. It needs to be charged more, so it's not going to do anything. But normally, these little, like, electric bolts are connected in between those, and it's just horrific. It's so freaking loud. I wouldn't even do it, honestly, because it scares the crap out of my dog, the noise. But it delivers, like, maybe slight, like, against the barrier of the legal amount of voltage to deal to another person, because it's, like, complete police grade. And the cool thing about this too, here I've turned this off, I don't even trust it even with like it being dead. But um, this whole area right here conducts just as much electricity as this right here. So you go to taste somebody and then if they ever grab it, they're done. Their, their fingers might blow off, dude, like they're just, they're not gonna, you're not gonna walk away from that. Your hand is, oh my god, it's gonna singe the skull. Oh, just be hilarious. Would be hilarious. Not, now when I said hilarious last time with weapons, you guys were like, oh god, right, it's a serial killer. I'm only talking against bad guys. Obviously, if that happened to somebody innocent, that would be a sh damn shame. But of course, why would, you know, you gotta wonder what he's doing breaking into my house at 4 a.m. How innocent is he? Now this next thing, I plan on going hand in hand with the riot shield if zombies ever happen. Now obviously zombies might never happen. That's probably the most logical thing in the world even if they did their dead flesh wouldn't even exist like they, they would rot in a day after one day's sun i don't want to say that with like 100 percent like like zombies are gonna happen i'm just saying if something happened along the line of zombies if it did i'd be prepared like <laughs> these shopping sprees usually come after dead island binges or like different zombie movie binges or just like mad max these are 
It's usually what inspires these late night shopping sprees. Keep in mind, each of these are actually really cheap because not a lot of people are buying weapons these days. <laughs> Especially 300 style Spartan swords, which is what this is. Now this is the scariest thing I've held in a while because it is so freaking sharp. It is like, like it's scary sharp to touch all the way over all the way down and the handle is so perfectly held or it's so perfectly like it's just so it's in there man it's not going anywhere i was actually like pretend practice swinging it the other day like yesterday i think and after like 20 swings my arm got tired and had a whole newfound respect for every soldier in every movie but yeah so here's here's the game plan right here got my cut proof bite proof wrist guards riot shields and sparta sword it's it's like i I got it all figured out. I, I don't know much that can get into my house now. I think I might even be able to handle the freaking Winter Soldier at this point. I just gotta time my my initial Sparta hoa, you know? But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Most of this crowd is probably gonna sit in my closet for the rest of my life, but I don't know. I'll rest easy knowing that it's in there and that if I ever need to bust out a riot shield and a 300 sword, that I'm gonna. And it's I have the I have the necessary utensils available. And probably no one should ever get drunk in my room because it's starting to look like either the TV prop room for like a freaking action movie or just a horror house. But it's it's getting out of control. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these down before I accidentally cut myself. Oh wait, I can't. That's what that's for. Wow, look, I thought of everything. All right, so I hope this was a fun video for you guys. You got to see like I, I'm my name is Riot. I finally have a Riot shield. It's official. My name officially is Riot now, I'm kind of glued to it. And um, yeah, make sure to do that YouTube notification thing too, because that is just crazy. That like You should do that with all your favorite channels, no doubt. That's just crazy that they even put that update there. It's like pissed off a lot of people. I really don't stress over it though. A lot of people made videos specifically asking people to do that. I'm like, I'll just throw it in a video, like, I'm not worried. Like, we're all friends here, no one's gonna leave. Alright, well yeah, that's everything guys. Hope you guys had a good time watching. If you did, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!